Mike Gates. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, the Foreign Secretary's attempted to make party political points earlier on. Can I just ask him to go back and read the answers that were given by a previous Foreign Secretary to me and other members, some on his own benches, calling for no-fly zones and humanitarian corridors at the end of 2011, beginning of 2012, when his government, the coalition government, refused intervention at that time. Is it not the fact that the Russians are in the dominant position they are now because people failed to support the democratic and, at that time, peaceful Syrian opposition? I, I, Mr Speaker, of course I mean absolutely no disrespect to the uh, gentleman opposite who, uh, in common with uh, members on, on this side of the House and across the House, uh, took a different view in, uh, in 2013. Uh, on the other hand, that was not the prevailing view. And that, that it's the result of that decision, it's the result of that, and if I, I may say, I, I seem to recall it was the then leader of the Labour Party who took a contrary view, unless I, my memory fails me. Uh, and it was a result of that it was a result of that decision. It was a result of that decision that we do see the particular uh, political conjuncture in Syria, in which Russia's members across the House uh, have said uh, this afternoon has the dominant role.